All right, let me introduce you guys. Um, uh, uh, just so we know what we're who we're, we're talking with here. So I've got my brother Tim. He's here. I don't know where to look. Hello, Ian. He's my nephew. Ian. He's been on How's before. He's also Second my son. time guest. <laughs> we have <laughs> Joe here, our friend Joe. And what you also go by? Is it Sal or Joe? Both. It's well, you can't be both, man. You gotta yeah. pick up. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta. You, you he, gotta. No, he's like a, he's yeah, like yeah, a no, secret, he's yeah, a yeah, secret yeah, identity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. got a disguise uh, idea. Yeah, yeah like Clark Kent. No. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, no, it's it's Joseph Salvatore Giancarelli. Yeah. There you go. So yeah. And Joe is our our uh, our celebrity tonight. Joe is the drummer <laughs> uh, for the band Stain. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's great to have you here, man. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Great Up here in the uh, in the bar. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yeah. But you're also in a band. A local party band with this mm -hmm. guy. I am. It is true. Yeah. And that band yes. is called Johnny Bender. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. What's more of a challenge, drumming for Stained or Johnny Bender? Johnny Bender. Uh. Is that right? I don't <laughs> think that's a good thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks, looks at me like, well, no. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you saying? Uh. <laughs> so how do you guys do it to where like, if Stained is on tour, Right? Mm -hmm. How do you guys work out what you guys are going to do? Like, what is this? What is the tour like with Stain? Like, they don't tour every year, obviously, right? It's usually just promoting a new album, or no? Well, I mean, at Stained, like recently, you know, we we will tour once a year. So with we do have a new record out, so we do we're doing two tours this year. But when I tour with Stained, they don't, you know, they didn't play, which I think is amazing, by the way. Well, it's it's very simple for us. If yeah. Joe's on tour with Stained, then we're not playing. Right. So yeah. if he's right. if he's off tour, yeah. and yeah. if obviously Stained right. trumps Johnny Becker, sure. of course. Now you've been so, you've been in Stained mm -hmm. for twelve years. Is that right? How long? How many? Uh, yeah, thir thirteen this year 13 as the drummer. Years. No shit. And then, but before that, it was twelve as the drum tech. Okay. So it's twenty five years. And how did that come yeah. out? When you how did you join Stained? How did you how did you get that gig? How did that all happen for you? Uh, all right. Long story short, in 1995, uh, me and two of my friends, we were in a trio band. We moved to Northampton, Massachusetts. Our bass player was going to Hampshire College there. So Stained is from Springfield. So we eventually kind of gravitated, you know, uh, towards each other or friends. It was a friends group. And uh, so we kind of, you know, were acquaintances then. But it was actually our tour manager and our front of house engineer now that actually was Stain's crew all the way back in, you know, 90, 95 to 98 when they were a cover band. Stain was a cover band. So Stain is kind of was similar to Johnny Bender in regards, you know, we could pull a thousand people to a, to yeah, our show. Yeah, yeah. You know, Stain was like that back then. They would they would pull in nine hundred thousand people or whatever. So um, so we all kind of met a circle of friends, and Pete, Ricky, and Jeff Gilmer, who are the two guys I'm talking about. In '98, they got their record deal, and. At that time, the three of us that moved to Northampton decided to roll out to Los Angeles. So when we were in Los Angeles, Stained came through with Seven Dust and Skunk and Nancy. And I ended up hooking up with Pete and Jeff, the two crew guys from way back then. And uh, Pete was just saying, you know, we're at that point where we could use an extra crew guy. You know, oh, be, really? being a drum tech, you know, so I just said, hey. Oh, so you started as a drum as tech. As a drum tech, yeah. So oh, he just, I said, hey, if you need some help, if you need some help until you find a real drum tech, yeah. um, you know, just just let me know. I mean, I'll come out and help you guys. So we all moved to the trio that we rolled out there with. We all moved back home and I was working on the family farm. And one day my younger brother comes rolling into the field <laughs> on the family farm and says, Hey, Pete wants you to, you know, give him a call. And I met him in uh, Albany. It was October 2nd, 1999, I think. So I met him there and went out for a couple of weeks just to try it. And 25 years later, here I am. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm going to roll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll in your, um, your YouTube reel real quick. So we're going to take a quick oh, look yeah, at this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. When 
I see that that last shot and that reel that you have, um, I mean that crowd is immense, dude. What is yes. what the fuck is that like? Oh man, I mean it's in, it's intense, it's intense, and I that was the biggest. So that was the biggest crowd up to that point that I had you know played in front of, and also too I'll add that it was it must have been 2012 because. I ended up getting the job in 2011. And so that specific day was kind of like a double doozy for me because the, all the bands that were there, this was like one of the first festivals that I played as the drummer for Stained. So you had all these obviously amazing fans, you know, but you also had, um, I think to my left off on the, you know, the side of the stage, you had Barry from Shinedown, you had Sam from Chevelle, you had all these other drummers, you know, watching, you know, that I had known so kind of as, your, as a tech. Are you, are you kind of proving you know? yourself to well, them? Well, I, fe I, like, I felt like it was a cool, um, I felt like they were saying, welcome to the welcome to the family kind of thing. Welcome you know, to can, welcome to the drummer right. club. You oh, know what I mean? So they're off there yeah, watching. So off, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, exactly. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, you had all these great drummers over here and then you have this big, huge crowd, you know, so it was a, it was a double doozy that day. So like, what do uh, you, what do you have to do knowing that, okay, you are a musician. I'm going to come mm -hmm. in here. I want to make my mark. What mm -hmm. do drummers need to do to be like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to show this up. Well, I got to add to what you're saying. Cause I do feel like the music that the band plays will help that because look at Motley Crue, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They, they were party, you know, party rock or whatever. And I think it just kind of lended a hand, you know, and Tommy was, you know, the other thing too, is music videos back then. Music videos really, they don't exist now today. Right. And it kind of helped to show a, a, one of the, the members' personalities, right? So yeah, that kind of helped. And so, yeah, you know, absolutely. so then next, you know, Tommy has the cage with Girls Goes Girls. And then he has the, you know, he's done the roller coaster. He did, you know, so I think that lend, lends a hand. But I guess for in my situation, it's, I don't, it's been a gradual, it's been a gradual thing for me, you know, because I am replacing the original drummer. So it's okay, you know, do the best, you know, do the best you can to give it a hundred percent, you know, within the confines of what it's supposed to be because it's Stain's music. Mm -hmm. I'm here to represent Stain's music, you know, so, but, and then as time went on, there's some different flavors that, you know, I'd add a, a Sal flavor, you know, cause I'm. Well, that, at some, you know, at some point, right. You, yeah. you are the drummer as opposed yeah. to looking at it as a replacement. You right. And I talked about the singer for journey. The new singer of journey has been in the band now longer than Steve, longer than Steve Perry. Yes, yeah. exactly. So when does yeah. that, like you guys are yeah. coming uh, up on, name, you've Pinocchio. been there for 13 yeah. years now. Yes. Yeah. So you're almost tied that almost. Yeah. Like, yeah. When it comes much, to the record deal, I think it's one more year longer. That you've been in there. Yeah. Or no, we're tied. I think you're right. We're tied since, since the record deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Well, that's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted yeah. to talk about yeah. it. Before no, we leave yeah. the stain topic. Yeah. Um have you heard that album? The yes. Entire yes. Day? Absolutely. I have. It's yeah. some Absolutely. of their best work mm -hmm. in, so in good. years. It is yep. it is an absolutely yeah. fantastic record. It is it, it, it is so Such good. A yeah. Great record, yeah. Dude. yeah. I'll pull this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. I will we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, yeah. we'll, yeah. we'll, yeah. awesome.